Hi, I'm Michael Zimbard. I'm the president and owner of Edit One. We specialize in pre-visualization and creative content development. I love the idea of the bayonet video right away. It was something that was gonna let us show our full creative skill set on a single project, and also as a team collaborate together and work on something that was solely creative. My name is Zoe Shack, and I am directing my first music video. It's always been a dream of mine to work with Zoe and collaborate as a Shack sister team. Here we are on set with Becca Shack and the Edit One crew. This is our first music video that Edit One is producing. Zoe, Becca, and Erica had been doing pre-production for months. We're trying to shoot it in one day, which is very fast. So it was very helpful for us to use our inertial motion capture setup. When you put it on, the character moves like a person moves. I worked with our 3D artist and put together an edit of the animatics, so that really helped with our camera angles. We're able to really nail down the things that we had to get. Just tell me when you want me to Hi, I'm Erica, and I'm the designer and animator and composite artist for the video. I knew I wanted to keep it backlit, some particles and lights, just to accentuate the motion that she's doing. When I first heard the song, I really wanted to make a dance music video. And Zoe said to me, hey, wouldn't it be a great idea to have this whole song fully choreographed? But because I love to dance, and I love making other people dance, I thought it was a brilliant idea. Hi, my name is Kaori Nakata. I'm a dancer and a choreographer, and I choreographed this video. Like, this dance has like a little hip hop, voguing, jazz, feminine dancing, and a dance hall, you got a little bit element. I'm Solange Franklin. I'm styling for Rebecca. I tied it into being bound by this kind of tortured love and having the freedom to release yourself. Uh, there's also kind of a superhero look, and it's a moment in the song when she realizes her own empowerment. We didn't choose the outfits until after the style frames. I initially just chose black and white clothing so that you'd have a lot to play with for the backgrounds. So keeping it simple and clean. Hi, I'm Savan. I'm the makeup artist for the shoot today. I guess the inspiration was this fierce goddess. She has such beautiful eyes. The first look was the cat eye. She wanted purple, which really complements green. It just really made her eyes just pop. You should turn that camera around on you. We, we gotta do more yeah. interviews. Hey, I'm Chris Beerlein. I'm the director of photography today. I've done a lot of commercial work with Edit One. What was fantastic about this project and what really appealed to me it was strictly creative, where we could push lighting a little bit, where we could push performance a little bit, try some interesting frame rates, some interesting gags and tricks, and try something new. I just want to do this every day. <laughs> so thank you so much for being part of my Bayonet video shoot, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. When I'm in Mexico, I'll Skype and make sure the post-production schedule is being adhered to. Um, I actually wanted to paint the site blue just to throw you know, a little curveball in the production, but I decided at the end of the day that's a bad idea. Erica Jaffin is keen the way right now. You walk into her office and she'll just be like, every day I'd be rendering, 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 which is pretty accurate. The costumes were my favorite part of the video shoot because I just felt that the, the normal man could relate to them. Like, it's like, you know, farmers have overalls, pop stars have leotards.